Good morning, Philippines! So, one of my subscribers asked for information on quality furniture. So, I thought we'd do a tour around Ayala Mall and see what they've got and have a look. This afternoon we headed over to Ayala Mall. This is Furniture Republic, found on the third floor within the Ayala Shopping Center. Um, right now, a lot of the stores are having their mid-year sale. They, of course, a lot of furniture stores, like everywhere else in the world, they have sales all the time. And 10% off the list prices that we're putting out here. Uh, the Canadian dollar currently is trading at 42.95 pesos to the dollar. And I've converted some of the amounts here so you can see. Like this one here, 34,950, that's 814.74 Canadian. That's price included uh, taxes and everything. There's no GST, there's no PST, there's no carbon tax, there's no HST, there's no... None of those Trudeau crap. But that's for a mattress, a good quality mattress. They have a number of them there. So that'd be a fraction of what you'd be paying in North America. Bose testing out a little lazy boy. Um, and maybe we'll pick up a couple of them as well. Now we're just going to get some ideas on basic furniture here. Um, the um, dining room tables, beds, and, and living room sets. So this one here, it's a lovely wood with the finished uh, black glass top. And uh, the, the individual chairs can be sold separately. Um, this one here is in Canadian dollars, about 1250 bucks. And uh, where can you get a table like that in Canada, brand new? Um, so a lot of this furniture comes from Malaysia or Indonesia. This store is particularly Malaysian and you get some of the Asian influences in some of the designs here. You'll see it shortly. But here's a decent couch for $571. Uh, and the um, dining room table over here, it's the typical Chinese design for dim sum. We put all your food in the center and you can spin it around on a lazy Susan in the middle. And they got some nice quality chairs. I don't think they really go with it, but yeah, 10% off. Uh, it's a marble tabletop for 1500 1600 bucks Canadian. And the individual chairs, they're very nice chairs. They're a couple hundred bucks a piece. And, uh, Oh, not even 131.58 Canadian. There you go. So, yeah. So these are all floor models and base retail prices as shown. You can negotiate your own deal. This table set is about 50,000 pesos. Again, that's for the table. The chairs are sold separately. These ones here are a little over $200 each. But they're good quality chair. So you can buy the whole set for a couple thousand dollars, I'm sure. And it'll last you forever. Um, as opposed to some of the cheaper stuff you can find on the market. The uh, chipboard in blue that's there. This has uh, got a hidden leaf that you can tuck under the table as well. So... Uh, there's you go there's a corner couch and a lot of coffee tables um, this one here on the back side this is the one that I would pick for my living room I think it's a cloth so it breathes and there's a full-size couch and a matching uh, love seat next to it this one here is a higher end it's uh, what do we got 1250 bucks Canadian for the 
coach and then on the other side you'll see <clears throat> with its lovely cushions this love seat over here is another what at 9.99 so uh 2200 bucks 2300 bucks and you've got a beautiful uh living room set brian's making new and this is the only store that we visited but we'll just do a quick breeze around here and maybe head over to the business section uh for uh, an idea of what the um, costs of a business would be for furnishings there. This is a cupboard space, 30% off, and it's uh, 535.64 retail. So take a, a third off that. You know, for around 400 bucks, you got a good uh, armoire there. So, yeah. That's the extent of the store. Um, we're here on a Monday, so things are relatively quiet. And uh, we asked permission before we could videotape to make sure that the uh, owners of the store <clears throat> agree with our exposing them with this free advertising. So here's your boardroom tables. Nice little boardroom table there with uh, a space there for your electronics to pass through for video presentations business chairs and you get a section of three cabinets here for your books um, that one here is uh, four and seventy seven dollars and twenty two cents Canadian for uh, three cupboard uh, doors and storage space underneath so that's the uh, that's the first one furniture outlet. Then we went headed over to Ashley's, just around the corner. Again, it's on the third floor. That's where you'll find the bulk of the furnishing stores in Ayala Mall, and they get their uh, furniture from other sources. So here's the friendly staff at Ashley Furniture. They'll be happy to help you out in making your selection. They've got here for $22.4, that's about $500, less than $500, a lovely solid coffee table. All the prices are clearly marked on all the furniture, so there's no surprises. Here's a one love seat for $62,000 pesos, and over here for $67,300, the matching sofa. And then here we have another set over here. Give you some ideas. So these are all available on the top floor of Ayala Mall. Um, I'll give you a geolocation with this video. You got a selection of bedroom and living room and dining room furniture. Right now they're having a mid-year sale up to 75% off. So this beautiful dining room table for 75,600 pesos with a matching dining chair for 12,700. We'll do the conversion later. All nicely laid out so you can get an idea of what it would look like in situ. Here we have a lovely Belzani sofa for 60,000 pesos, contemporary vinyl. Vinyl chair, couldn't possibly be leather for that. Here's a love seat for 53,000. So, the bulk of the furniture stores are found here on the top level of Ayala. So it should give you an idea of just what's available. The 
this beauty sold. That was for 47,800 pesos. For the king size mattress. So you can get a quality mattress for under a thousand dollars. Something you just don't get in America. And here we have dining room table for a thousand dollars American and the chairs are around what uh, sixty five dollars each have a look so for those of you who are interested in getting your furniture reupholstered you can go to Larry's and they'll provide a quotation on reupholstering too. Reupholstering. So there's a wide variety of choices. So here's some miniature models of the kind of work that they do at Larry's. One thing you don't get away with cheap are toys here in the Philippines. 499 pesos for this tiny little truck. That's equivalent of $12 for that little tiny truck. This is Toys R Us. So here we have Dream Machine Racer. It's a remote control car for 899 pesos, which 900 pesos would be about $20 Canadian. These ones are on sale. So one thing about the Philippines that isn't cheap are toys. They love their kids. $16.99 for a piece of plastic to squirt water with. That's Toys R Us. So I hope you liked our little uh, uh, field trip to Ayala Mall. Now obviously these are higher end furnishings and that, these would be maximums that I would expect to pay for furniture um, and good quality furniture. Uh, it's a lot of it imported from Malaysia, uh, China and uh, parts unknown but <clears throat> you can get locally manufactured furniture here for a lot cheaper yet certainly for the outdoor furniture which is what i would like to see on my deck and patio i wouldn't get over that plastic cheap rattan stuff that you get at canadian tire in canada but i'd get them to make me a bamboo bench good solid bamboo bench for outdoors and throw some cushions on it and bamboo table with a glass top and uh, we have got some outdoor furniture uh, made of uh, steel with uh, cushions on it for reasonable prices. So, uh, yeah, um, I'd like to hear your comments on that. Uh, maybe we'll do another tour of some of the local, uh, locally manufactured uh, furnishings. They're a little bit more rustic and it's of a different taste to the, that, what you have here. And some of them last every bit as long as the higher end stuff that you see here. Now, when I saw high end, some of it is you would consider mid range, I guess, in, in the West, but for the Philippines, it's doing pretty good. I'd like to leave you with one other thought before I go, and that has to do with air conditioners here in the Philippines. Don't forget that air conditioners don't just cool the air, but they clean it as well, getting a lot of the dust and particulates out of your uh, your room air and you want to clean those filters regularly um it'll cost you between three and four hundred pesos to get a uh, someone to come in and, and clean your air conditioner like 12 bucks do that every couple of months and another thing too about air conditioners is that the philippines is a noisy place roosters dogs all the rest of it motorcycles the background of the air conditioner 
it's there now. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but it provides kind of a white noise that block out, blo uh, blocks out a lot of the residual stuff. And if you uh, decide to install an air conditioner, um, there's two ways you can go about it. If you want to cool the whole room, you should mount it up high so that the heavy, heavy denser air falls to the floor and cools the whole room and everything down in it. But you can go cheap too and, and hang it down low and it'll just cool the lower portion of the floor and that might keep your cost down. So yeah, you want the air to fall into the room and, and cool it completely. And during the day we don't generally run it much. If we do it's on low uh, night time we'll crank it up a little bit before we go to bed and then uh, turn it down through the evening because the evening air is cooler. Don't forget that in Cebu you're going to average around 31 to 33 degrees every day, which in the West you'd be getting heat warnings for. Uh, they just issued one today apparently in uh, New Brunswick. So, um, yeah, you get acclimatized to that. Just don't forget to hydrate yourself and don't overexert yourself in the heat and protect yourself from the sun's direct rays. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, please don't forget, as my son likes to say, Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.